This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-350 Crew Cab short bed. Uh, it is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive, and it's a Lariat, which is leather. It is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in, let me look at my cheat sheets, Hayward, California. Uh, it has 132,400 miles. It is not a clear title. Uh, it is a theft recovery and it is a sweet truck. We bring them in, we do a two hour inspection. During that two hour inspection, which looks like this, we have my little cheat sheets written over here, but it got a uh, new ignition. It got a new driver door lock cylinder. Obviously they broke the door cylinder when they broke in and broke the ignition to steal it. Got two new batteries, front pads, brake pads, and a new windshield, had a crack on the windshield. And the rest is exactly as you see it, it was what we saw, beautiful truck. Um, it came in with this brand new set of tires on it. So whoever had it stolen, just put new tires on it right before it was stolen. I mean, <laughs> they're brand new tires. So whoever had it stolen liked it enough to drop, I don't know, 800, 900, maybe, eh, they're, they're good tires, probably a thousand on these tires. Uh, so they were pretty confident in this truck. Those are Toyo Open Countries. And uh, they are brand new. Those are those are expensive tires. And that's what they look like all the way around. They are brand, brand, brand new. Um, all right, let's see. I'm gonna walk you around. We're gonna look at this thing. Aside from what I told you we did, it passed our inspections with flying colors. It's got some, you know, what you would expect, minor rock chips and stuff. But being that it's a California truck, they don't really allow them off-road there. Uh, otherwise, the environmental police come and throw them in a gulag or something. Um, anyway, so I'm not really sure why <laughs> why people buy such nice trucks for California, but uh, this is a sweet rig. A little bit of fading on top of the on top of the moldings, which is just sun. That's not nearly as bad as they can get here in Arizona. If you leave them facing the sun in your driveway every day on one side, you'll things will turn brown in Arizona. So we used to see on that. It does have a few dings on the tailgate. Like here, use a little touch-up paint in those, that'll probably make them go away for the most part. Bumper looks good. Got a brand new spare. No package. That's a nice truck. Great lake truck for me. Of course, I have to buy a boat. And then, of course, you're a boat owner, and then, of course, the money disappears very fast. Boat stands for? It's a quiz class. Boat stands for what? Bring another thousand. All right, like I said, this this door lock cylinder is new. There's your remotes working. I'm gonna fire this thing up. 112,000 miles. 100, I'm sorry, 132,340 miles. We're going to look under the hood. We're going to be looking for Ford stamps on both fenders and on both sides of the course port, which would tell you that everything's original. There's your Ford stamp right there. You can see it right there. There's a the Ford stamp right there. New battery on this side. Pretty well by here. That is a beautiful thing. There's the other port stamp. There's the other port stamp right there. Yeah. Whoever owned this thing took really good care of it. And I locked the doors. So, because I do that every single time, gotta walk 
all the way around. And we'll do this door there. All right. This is the driver rear door. The goal of these videos isn't really to uh, show off a truck, even though this one's showing itself off pretty well. It is to uh, show you what's wrong more than what's right. Which is hard to do on this truck because there's not much wrong. Actually, very, very little wrong. But, again, the goal is to find out point out the stuff that's wrong so that the right person buys the right car and has all the information they need to make a really good decision so that uh, everyone's happy. Um, if we have a car with issues or a truck with issues that we're selling, we tell people. Then the person who can handle those issues buys it instead of some little old lady in Michigan or Cal, you know, out in the middle of Kansas somewhere who uh, can't deal with it. And uh, the internet's a beautiful thing. It will find the person that can deal with the problem if you let them know it's there. If you are deceptive, then the wrong car will always end up in the wrong driveway and there will be fighting. And I don't do fighting. There is a manual in there. There's your wheel lock key. Ford mats, the nice ones. That's a nice truck. It's a good thing I don't have a boat. Because if I had a boat, this would be in my house. Maybe I should just buy a jet ski or something. Just to fly. Should be this. Alright, so everything works from the master switch. Door locks. Forward, back, down, up. Let's see. You can see on. Off. That looks fine. Kind of hard to see with the glare on that. That's on. That's on. That's on. I want to do this video with a hot butt. Boy, the seats are in great shape too. Just a little bit of die wearing off, but the seats have been on the driver's seat. Make sure there's nothing underneath here. That's going to be a little hot. Look. There we go. Alright. Our pedals up. Down. Perfect. Alright. Let's try the tilt. That works fine. All right, then. Get the seat fixed here. The air is working great. Turn the radio down here. Let's try the controls on the steering wheel for the air. Let's fan up, fan down from the steering. Temperature up, temperature down. The air is working perfectly. Manually up, down. Uh, air's working great. Uh, let's see. Cup holder, radio. Alright, let's go to steering controls. That's using the steering controls up and down with the volume. Alright, let's see. What else we got going on here? Trailer stuff. Let's see. Moonroof. Back. Forward. The motor's in good shape too. For the moon moonroof sometimes get a little tired, but that one was moving good. Let me get a seatbelt on. There's toe on and off. On and off. Let's do a systems check, engine temp, this thing's been running for a little while, 
we like to do this when it's when they're nice and warm so that when I take the oil cap off you can see what the blow by factor is and the whole bit get accurate stuff all right let's see we put it in neutral put it into four low now we're in four low put it in dry that's perfect that's definitely four low put it in reverse I'm gonna back up and check the, the parking sensors see if we have working parking sensors yes we do forward all right so parking sensors work four wheel low works let me go to four high now we're in four high the actuator works great it's in and out of four wheel drive fast and reverse four wheel drive works great go to two wheel drive let's go for a ride man this is a nice truck sometimes those actuators will take a second but not in this one this one's a nice, nice rig. All right, uh, let's see. Some facts here. If you come to Tucson, you are going to pay uh, tax and a dock fee. The dock fee is $250. The taxes are 2% two, uh, 2 city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is... Uh, 3% and you come here, you're going to pay 5% tax. That's R2 plus your 3. If your tax rate is 6, you're going to pay 9. That's R, your 6 plus R2. Or, I'm sorry, that's 9. I think 9. 6 plus 2 is not 9. <laughs> uh, anyway, you get the picture. Add 2% to whatever your state tax rate is uh, and add $250 dock fee. Um, that's if you're going to pick it up in person. If you're going to pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price. Uh, once we receive your uh, wire, uh, well, we will uh, fill out the title with your name and address the way you want it to read or your company um, and we will notarize it and we will mail it to you we will scan in the notarized title to your online file that you'll have uh, we even scan in the envelope that we mail it in we even uh, uh, give you the copy of the title from the insurance company that uh, that we got from them so you'll see the title we got from the insurance company also um, like I said, as much disclosure as we can possibly give, we give you everything we know. Um, by the way, this road is third world. Uh, seriously, I'm four wheeling at 45, <laughs> and this thing has a great ride. It's an unbelievable truck. Um, I don't like to use words like unbelievable because if it breaks like a week after you get it, it needs an injector or something, I look like an a-hole. But <laughs> on this truck, that'd be a real shocker if that happened. Um, really nice truck. Let's see, what else is there? Um, blah, 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 blah. Deposit, please get your deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have your deposit, we will put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com. Until then, it's for sale. Now I will give you the warranty speech. This is the reality check part. Um, we only have one car that's under factory warranty in our entire inventory. This is not it. Um, if the people who built this truck could have given it a 300,000 mile, 25 year warranty, they would have, and they would have been able to sell it for twice or more than what they did. Probably two or three times what they sold it for. Um, basically what we're saying is if the people who built it don't know what's going to happen after X amount of miles or X amount of years, there's little chance that we know more than the people who built it, the engineers at Ford. Okay? So although we've done a gigantic, you know, walkthrough, inspection, we know these things, we buy these things all day, every day. Six O's, we know these better than anything. Um, it doesn't mean when it gets to you, it's not going to need an injector. You know, maybe next week, maybe three years from now. Boy, this thing runs unbelievably well, though. That would be really, really weird if it needed something. But, it may. So, if you're risk averse, please don't buy from us. That could be a cop right in front of me. As I roll up on it with a camera in my hand. <laughs> that would be my luck. Uh, so I'm gonna chill out. Anyway, we were just going about 75 on the frontage road, no problem, it's a nice truck. Anyway, just make sure that you know that you're saving a bunch of money buying this truck. It is a nice truck, we know what we're doing, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna need something a week or two after you get it, or maybe not, it may not need anything for a long time after that. Um, if you're concerned about the EGR, look at our little thing in there, we offer an EGR package. Um, for uh, $1,900, which is about half of what retailers do it for. Um, and that's it. Thank you.